I am so sorry, Brian. I had no idea I'd lost that much money in that card game. Don't blame yourself, Diana. These guys are professional hustlers. They make a living off of innocent people. It's not a very nice way to talk about your old partner, Brian. I wish the hell I'd never met you, Nick. <laughs> but you did. Which means you know just how serious Diana's situation is. Like I said, even if I did forget about the debt, the people I work with won't. They want their money, and they want their money now. Well, I'll tell you what, you'll just have to go back and tell them that they're out of luck. This time they messed with the wrong person. You know better than that, Brian. Diana doesn't come up with the money she owes you both wish she had. Now I'm leaving the island today. If you want to have a nice, rosy future with blondie hair, I suggest you make sure my pockets are bulging with cash when I do. What if they're not? My bosses will extract payment in another form. Your life and his. If I were you, Brian, I'd find a way to come up with the dough. My bosses have to come here and collect. He won't be as friendly as I am. Wait. Change your mind? It's not that. I have to know if Brian's right. <laughs> About what, beautiful? Watch it, Nick. Proprietary, isn't he? I have to know. You said that you recognize me. Brian says you were lying just to get my attention. He's right, isn't he? Actually, no. He's wrong. I may not strike you as the straightest shooter in the world, Diana, but I was telling the truth. I've seen you before I laid eyes on you in Bermuda. I don't know exactly where, but I'll figure it out. I told you, Diana, don't listen to a word he says. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a filthy lie. <laughs> not this time, Brian. Even con men tell the truth sometimes. Besides, who could forget a face like this? I never worked for you, though, did I? <laughs> Hardly. You're way more classy than the girls I used to hire. And I used to, uh, take care of my girls very well, if you know what I mean. No, I definitely remember if you were one of them. Nick, why don't you take a hike now? Okay, Brian. I want to be late for my massage. Oh, Diana? I used to wear diamonds. Expensive gowns. And I could swear it was London or Paris. And you lived a very different life than the one you've got here. Like you have amnesia, or you'd be pining away for your old lifestyle. I don't know about that. Trust me. Once you tasted life with money, Nobody likes to go back. Hey, which gives me an idea. And you know what? She's not interested. I'm talking to the lady, big guy. You know, we can forget about this whole uncomfortableness. If you drop Beach Boy here and go out with me, I can offer you a lot more than a broken down boat. I'm not interested. Okay. I guess we're back to where we started. I'll see you before I leave the island with the money. There's got to be some way out of this. I am so sorry, Brian, if I had any idea how much those chips were worth. Don't beat yourself up, Diana. You're just trying to do something nice. I knew how much you wanted that navigation system. I just, I figured if I could win enough money, then I could surprise you with it. I wonder the next men must have overheard us when we were talking at the table. Yeah. When I first started playing, I was winning. I, I knew it was a lot of money, I, but I didn't quite know how much. Yeah, I know. That's how they rope you in. They get you on a winning streak, and then when you try to get up from the table with your chips, you're on a losing streak. That's exactly how it happened. I figured if I could just win one hand, then I could win it all back. Oh, what an idiot. You're not the first person that's been conned by people like that. But there's one thing that I want to get straight with you right now. I, I've learned my lesson. I, I promise I will, I will never gamble again. No, it's not that, Diana. I know you're trying to do something nice for me. Buy me a gift, but I don't need any gifts, expensive or otherwise. Okay? All I want is you. Really? On my honor. 
got me. And I'm gonna take care of you. And I'm gonna keep you safe and sound, okay? How? And what if Nick isn't bluffing? Where are we gonna get that kind of money? I don't know, Diana, but we'll figure something out. I promise you that. No, Brian, that... This is not fair. I mean, you have worked your entire life to get away from people like Nick, and now because of me, you're getting pulled back into this world. No, forget it. I don't want you getting hurt. This is my problem. You know, I can call in a few favors, but it's still not going to come close to the amount of money we need. I feel so stupid. I, I bet you wouldn't have fallen for a con game like this. Oh, if not, it's because I've already been burned. You know, it's like Brian said, these guys are professional. There's no way you could have known. But the worst part is that they've dragged Brian into it now. I can handle it, Dinah. Okay. Wait a minute. My boat. What about it? Well, it's not finished yet, but it's all I've got. I mean, do you know anyone on the island who might be interested? Uh, no, Brian, you can't sell your boat. You love it. Not as much as I love you, Diana. Diana would not leave. She loves Brian too much, and he would never let her go. We'll see. But if I can do it, if I can find a way to take her away, Brian would be left all alone, just pining away. Just waiting for someone to comfort him, to love him. You think you could be that person, Liz? It'd be sweet if you could, wouldn't it? It's so sweet. I'll check around. It's a nice boat. I'm sure someone will want it. Well, between my boat and the favors we can call in, we're still going to be way short. We're not even near the magic number. We're not even close to the amount of money we need to get these guys off our backs. Really done it this time, haven't I? You know, this place is mortgaged to the hilt, but I bet I can squeeze a few more dollars out of the bank. You would do that for me? It's only money, right? Liz, you have been more than good to me. I, I swear I will find some way to repay you. Uh, yeah, me too, Liz. Thanks a lot. Don't be silly, guys. No. Even with Liz's help, we're still short. We better think of something else. Something major. Like what? <laughs> I have no idea, but I better think of something quick, because these guys are not known for their patience. I'll go get us some more coffee. What is it? You know, I've been thinking, maybe I should just talk to Nick. Tell him the situation. Tell him I'd be happy to pay him in installments over time. Oh, sorry, honey. Nick did not strike me as the installment kind of guy. I gather he wants the whole thing in one big chunk. I don't think it's worth a shot. No, and I wouldn't let you talk to him alone anyway. Why not? I can handle myself. No, I said. Well, then I don't know what we're going to do. There's no way that we can come up with that kind of money. Maybe there is. No, Brian, you can't do it. What is it? Brian, you promised. You can't do that. <laughs>